I'm sitting here to call for help for my wrongfully imprisoned dad, Jiren Wang, who's a Falun Gong practitioner, and I'm trying to rescue him out from the Chinese government prison. December 27th, uh, in the uh, year of 1999, right after Christmas, which, you know, on that day, uh, when everybody is supposed to be celebrating, I saw my beloved dad's face on CNN the first time that he, together with the other three practitioners, uh, Li Chang, Yao Jie, Ji Lie Wu, sentenced to a heavy term of 16 years. And that was really heartbroken for me. I just felt the sky to me has fallen. There's no justice in this world, only darkness. After my dad was arrested and I actually saw his face on CNN, I was just extremely, extremely sad. I don't know what to do. You know, I was only a teenager. I, my heart was broken. I could not go back to China because I know it's very dangerous. You know, the, the crackdown towards Falun Gong has already begun in China. So uh, I basically cried all the time for a very long period of time. I pretty much live in despair. I don't think, you know, I ever healed from my own. I think even though today my dad is rescued out, you know, present in front of me, and we can live happily ever after, but I still think that pain, that wound, that the Communist Party bestowed upon my family will never be erased because there's eight years that I live without knowing my dad's safety. Like I live in scare, I live in, in worries. Please help stop the persecution of Falun Gong. One, two, three. Three, two, and one. The turning point actually is the realization that if I kept my silence and don't call for help for my dad, then there's never going to be a chance that his story will be known by the society and the world. And also, you know, I am a practitioner of Falun Gong. I practice truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. And by practicing that, I know any persecution against these three principles is, is wrong and shouldn't be allowed even to exist in this world. And that's why I know I have to be strong, I have to stand out. And also because I'm only one that he's God, I stay here overseas. I could call for help for him in this world, which is you know having the freedom of press, freedom of speech, and freedom of assembly. So I am here today using those rights which granted by the Constitution of America to hope for help for him. And I strongly believe that he will be released before these 16 years and this persecution will end really soon.